Ever noticed February 29th popping up every few years? That's Leap Day. And it's our clever fix for how Earth actually moves through space. A year isn't exactly 365 days. It's about 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds, roughly 365.2422 days. That tiny fraction means our calendar slowly drifts ahead each year. After four years, those leftover hours add up to nearly one full day. So we add an extra day every four years. February 29th. That's the leap year. But here's the twist. The Earth's orbit isn't exactly 365.25 days. If we kept adding a leap day every four years forever, our calendar would drift by three days every 400 years. To fix this, Pope Gregory III introduced the Gregorian calendar in 1582. If a year divides evenly by four, leap year. But if it divides by 100, not a leap year. Unless it also divides by 400, it is a leap year. That's why 2000 was a leap year, 1900 wasn't, and 2100 won't be. This keeps our seasons in sync with Earth's orbit. So every leap year we're not just adding a random day, we're syncing our clocks to the cosmos.